We are in central Vietnam, just outside of the hidden world of Son Dong. Son Dong is the world's largest cave system, and what we're doing here is we're writing TV history. Together with an ABC Good Morning America team and their engineers, we will be live broadcasting out of the hidden world of Son Dong. We actually flew into the jungle by means of a helicopter because we had so much equipment. At times, we could see long lines of porters carrying equipment, food, power generators, cables through the thick brush, across rivers and down into the cave. We had to continue to cross rivers, trek through the jungle, rappel down walls and make our ways through very narrow areas of the cave. All of this in very high humidity with constant mist in the air and very dusty conditions. At times it was pitch black dark inside the caves. We had to be careful. Every step had to be carefully planned as there were cliffs and very sharp rocks. Then we trekked through the first cave, the Hang An Cave, which became in essence, our home base. George, I am way down here. From the perspective, you can see me about 400 feet below the top of one of the world's largest caverns. It is inside a mountain, inside a jungle in central Vietnam. And this, I have to be honest with you, has been one of, or the, I would say, most difficult, dangerous and grittiest assignments I have ever been a part of. We've been staying in these tents. We've been cooking over fires. This again, is very remote. We are not close to any civilization. This is brand new to our world, this subterranean surreal life that has been revealed and now you get to be a part of it. Inside the Son Dong cave there are two areas that have a big huge hole in the ceiling about 300 feet above. Those are called dough lines and we've been using the DJI Inspire 1 as well as the Phantom 3 to see what kind of footage we could get flying inside those massive caves and both have performed flawlessly. The focus of the trip was to get aerial footage from inside the world's largest cave. However, flying in a cave introduces a lot of challenges such as no GPS reception. The caves are big enough to create their own climate zones including clouds and fog so conditions changed constantly. We faced temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius and extreme humidity up to 95%. Because of the gigantic dimensions of the caves, our depth perception was very limited. Therefore, we had to rely solely on our line of sight and the live view from the camera. The environment was pretty harsh with the humidity, the water, sand and dust. But the equipment performed flawlessly, teamwork, and working with equipment that provides the capabilities that we needed to do this has been the key in making this a successful event. <laughs> 